We continue today with the workbook of A Course in Miracles. What is sin? Sin is insanity. It is the means by which the mind is driven mad and seeks to let illusions take the place of truth. And being mad, it sees illusions where the truth should be and where it really is. Sin gave the body eyes, for what is there the sinless would behold? What need have they of sights or sounds or touch? What would they hear or reach to grasp? What would they sense at all? To sense is not to know. And truth can be but filled with knowledge and with nothing else. The body is the instrument the mind made in its efforts to deceive itself. Its purpose is to strive. Yet can the goal of striving change? And now the body serves a different aim for striving. What it seeks for now is chosen by the aim the mind has taken as replacement for the goal of self-deception. Truth can be its aim as well as lies. The senses then will seek instead for witnesses to what is true. Sin is the home of all illusions, which but stand for things imagined, issuing from thoughts that are untrue. They are the, quote, proof that what has no reality is real. Sin, quote, proves God's Son is evil. Timelessness must have an end, eternal life must die, and God himself has lost the son he loves, with but corruption to complete himself, his will forever overcome by death, love slain by hate, and peace to be no more. A madman's dreams are frightening, and sin appears indeed to terrify, and yet what sin perceives is but a childish game. The Son of God may play, he has become a body, prey to evil and to guilt, with but a little life that ends in death. But all the while his Father shines on him, and loves him with an everlasting love, which his pretenses cannot change at all. How long, O Son of God, will you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How soon will you be ready to come home? Perhaps today? There is no sin. Creation is unchanged. Would you still hold return to heaven back? How long, O holy Son of God, how long? And we continue with Lesson 251. I am in need of nothing but the truth. I sought for many things and found despair. Now do I seek but one, for in that one is all I need and only what I need. All that I sought before I needed not, and did not even want. My only need I did not recognize. But now I see that I need only truth. In that all needs are satisfied, all cravings end, all hopes are finally fulfilled, and dreams are gone. Now have I everything that I could need. Now have I everything that I could want. And now, at last, I find myself at peace. And for that peace, our Father, we give thanks. What we denied ourselves, you have restored. And only that is what we really want. Amen.